The lateral tarsal strip is a bread and butter procedure in ocular plastics and one that you'll perform a huge number of times. The key stages are to mark your incision and to mark how much you plan to tighten the lower, lower lid. This gentleman is also having a punctoplasty, but that's on a separate video. The local anaesthetic infiltration needs to be superficial and it needs to extend into the upper lid a little and along the lower lid a fair extent and it's also useful to add some deep down carefully onto the orbital rim. The initial dissection is very straightforward. You follow the line and with a few strokes you should be straight through the skin through the fibres of the orbicularis and down to the orbital rim. There's no anatomy here that you need to worry about. This is all soft tissue. And once the rim is reached, you cauterise to get a good view. And then to make life easy, expose the rim. And one nice technique is to take two cotton buds, pop one inside the rim, one outside the rim, and simply stretch the tissues over the rim so there's absolutely no doubt about where you're going to anchor your sutures. The next step is the actual tarsal strip. And if you get hold of the lateral edge of the tarsal plate, trim gently off at the bottom, make a pocket between the plate and the orbicularis, and then a couple of little snips at the inferior edge of the tarsal plate, and then putting one arm of the scissors in the pocket, a couple of snips, and you've cleared the tarsal plate of the orbicularis. Then you trim off the upper edge, so the lid margin is removed. I use cautery to then remove the conjunctival layer, and the heat of the cautery can also empty the uh, meibomian secretions. And then finally I snip off the end I'm holding, as this is often not fully cauterized, and the tarsal strip is then created. The strip is then sutured to the rim using a double-armed 5-0 proline, and these sutures pass initially from anterior to posterior at the upper border of the tarsal strip, and then again from anterior to posterior at the lower border of the tarsal strip. You can check that you have absolute control of the lid. And this is a very firm bite. The needle is then passed from the inside of the rim uh, outwards. I pass the superior one first, followed by the inferior. And the guide that you're looking for is you're following the curve of the lower lid upwards towards the rim and this should put the lateral canthus at the right position. However, always double check before closing. With proline you don't need to take any don't need to have any give into account where you set the uh, canthal angle will be where it ends up. I'm deliberately leaving the needles on the proline here uh, while placing a minimum of four uh, sutures, sorry, a minimum of four knots. And the reason that I leave the needles in place are to make it easy to bury the ends of the proline. So while it's a little bit more difficult to place the knots with the needles in place, each proline needle can then be passed posteriorly through the soft tissue and then trimmed at the exit point and this makes uh, uh, the burying of the proline effortless which makes the uh, patient significantly more comfortable as a, a sharp pointed end of the proline sticking upwards can be very unpleasant 
The next step is to trim off the excess uh, skin and possibly a little bit of orbicularis. And then a deep suture is placed to help cover the proline knot. This is a 6-0 vicral suture. Then a commissuroplasty goes from inside uh, through the grey line. This is one of the few times that I place a suture in the grey line. And then back in, such that the knot's buried. I've tried tarsal strips both with and without this suture, but I find you get a much sharper canthal angle uh, with this suture in place, although um, some authors have suggested that the suture uh, doesn't sharpen the angle much and is just a little uncomfortable. However, in my hands I think this definitely gives a sharper uh, lateral canthal angle. So I place this suture. And then if there's any gap, I put in another uh, buried deep closure such that the skin edges should really be uh, in a position prior to being closed. Then all that remains is to run some 6 vicral from one end to the other to close the skin. The scar from a lateral tarsal strip should really be next to invisible uh, as it tucks very nicely into the laugh lines. I advise the patients to keep these sutures moist with chloramphenicol and then I see them and remove the sutures at a week.